welcome to our channel unboxing reviews and more today our more is our lovely daughter carrie carrie say hi hi <laughs> <laughs> so we have a few things we're gonna do them one at a time right now we are going to review the Hermsch double shepherd hooks this i I'm going to, truth be told, I got this not quite a week ago. There were two in the package. I couldn't wait. I already got one up and had my humming bird feeders on it. So, I had to cheat. Anyway, it, it wasn't too difficult to put together. It seemed real good quality. But we're going to go through it again and we're going to pretend that I didn't already put one up. Okay. Oh, wow. Opening the new box. Ah. Right. They are good quality, and I have two hummingbird yes. feeders on one. So, decent enough instructions. I mean, it took me a second to figure it out because it's mainly just pictures, and when you have posts, you want to make sure you have the right post or pole or whatever. But, I mean, overall, it's not complicated. It's not brain surgery. It's <clears throat> a pole, so... Not too difficult. Alright, here are our pieces. Alright. We have the part that goes in the ground. Obviously. Um, they're secured pretty decently. I like the way it's wrapped in plastic so that the nice black paint doesn't scratch uh, as it's bumping and rubbing against each other. So, and as you can see, they have tape around it. I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, it's not tape. It's uh, not paint. It's, I, I can't even really describe it. But, there you go. Um, almost yeah, feels solid. like a cast iron, but you can tell it's not. I think it's the uh, powder coat finish that gives it that feel. Okay. Very spiky. The center spike, it's, it has a little bit of a dull end, but I'm telling you from having done the first one, you just push your foot down on those and it's going to go down in. Mine and my ground was not soft by any means, but it wasn't hard at all. And it still only went in to about here. I have about this much exposed. It's sturdy in there with just this much in the ground. So, and then as you can see here, that is a screw hole, okay? That as we put it together, which we're gonna do together today, as we put it together, it, that's gonna be part of the, what helps it connect. This is a, almost like a little brace thing. You can slip it between the two over, uh, between two different pieces over a joint and then tighten it up, which we'll do in a minute. The shepherd hook. Jesus was a shepherd. Jesus wasn't a shepherd. It was David. Jesus was a carpenter. He's <laughs> a shepherd of men. There are shepherds in the fields. He's <laughs> a shepherd of men. All right. Am I that, right? I guess so. I guess that works. Cover, Cover up. up. <laughs> something about Jesus and shepherding. I don't know why I went blank all of a sudden. Okay. Here's the... David was a shepherd. Who else was a shepherd? There was somebody else that was a shepherd. Mm, I don't know. I can't think right off the top of my head right now. Was it Moses? Yeah, he was a shepherd for a while. I thought so. When he was... Uh, before uh, when he escaped, before the burning uh, bush, yeah, and he got exactly Israel out of Egypt. 
Oh God, dude, I'm using him. Okay, so I, I kind of knew what I was talking about there. I knew, but I'm having an off day, very off day. So these are the screws. They are headless, but that is because they are, well, it's interesting too. They're hollow on one side. Mm -hmm. The other side's not hollow. I don't think it really matters. Just a dumb observation. Are you putting this together on camera right now? I am putting it together on camera. Okay. Why not? I want, I want people to see how easy it is. But I'm going to try not to ramble too much because I've been kind of just... I feel like I'm having an off day. So. But I did go vote. So. One, two off. Okay. Obviously, for me, obviously, because I'm pretty mechanical, this is going to be the top. This is where our shepherd hooks are going to slide down in. But we're not doing that yet. Why? Because that's not how the directions that I already read when I put the first one together told us. Okay. The directions told me to take, man, this is like a weapon. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's like Chosen and, and, uh, Daniel san mm -hmm. It's like something Chosen would have in his jacket. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, take the little screws. I'm going to try to poke our daughter and put it right here in there. And I just gave it a few turns. Because I am going to want to, these are the same on both ends. Can you see the hole on that yep. end? Can you see the hole on that end? Yep. Okay. I'm going to do the same on this side. But I'm going to, personally, I'm going to hold the screw just a little bit while I'm doing it. Because I don't want it to twist so much only on one and barely be hanging in the other. So, I got that in there good. And now, I am finishing screwing it in. So, give that a wiggle, babe. Yep. Yeah, that it's thing's dirty. not moving. But then we're also going to take that piece, loosen it a little more. There's my line. And it goes over that mm -hmm. to sure give it some I more brace, probably. But. I'm not sure why that one and not any others, but... And we will show you the one in the yard at the end of the video, but yeah, these things are really sturdy. They're good quality. All right, putting the other screw in, screwing it in some. Oh, my screw did it a little too much. Keeping the part that the hooks slide into, and it has the flat top without a hole. Right there, like it has a little cap cover. I don't know what your movements are. The guy behind the camera is always making little movements. I'm not a mind reader. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> He's not. I'm just cracking up now. <laughs> mm, it's like God likes the shepherd stuff or something. I hear the I guess God so. music in the background. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, hallelujah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. All right. So, something I missed the first time because well, I'm mechanically inclined. So, I glanced at the instructions. I figured it out real quick. 
slide the one down in the other. Mm, okay, I just got cool. all I just got all happy and stuck them in there, and then I was like, "Oh wait, this isn't gonna work." And then, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, they're both in. Oh, cool. So, remember, this has move, a movable bottom, so that's why it's kind of leaning over a little bit. It's not completely flat and flush. But it promise will be you, once you stick it, it in the ground. Yeah, exactly. When it's in the ground, it's dirty. I mean, this is... I mean, this thing is stable. And here are your hooks. I mean, they are here. And there yep. you go. All right. This, well. is, this was a really, I was really happy with this. Like I said, this was a, I forgot to tell you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. What am I thinking? Okay, well, let's go outside and take a look at this. Hang on. This is the Hunch. Double Shepherd's Hook for Outdoor Bird Feeder Pole 60 inch. Now, the 60 inch, this is this got me because I'm thinking, hey, 60 inch, that's just about five feet. Mm -hmm. Including this. Mm, okay. Okay. So once you get it in the ground, it's not going to be five feet tall. And I wasn't thinking about that. I didn't account for that. Okay. All right, and it has a price point of, well, this one says 63 inches. I don't know, but there's two of them for $29.99, 30 bucks. So that makes them $15 a piece. Pretty right. nice. Well, let's go outside and take a look at it, and we'll show you all what they look like put together with the bird feeders on them. And we're back. Um, here is the double shepherd hook that we installed in the, or that we put together, installed it in the backyard. This came two um, entire pieces, uh, two shepherd hooks to the package and you can hang plants from them. We chose to hang hummingbird feeders. Um, we love little hummingbirds. And as you see, they, they have uh, uh, the feeders on them, and they are pretty sturdy. This is how tall it is. There's about this much uh, sticking up out of the ground. I'll show them how much okay, is out. Go ahead. There, if you can see it. Hang on. There you go. There's a little bit sticking out, but not a whole lot. Yeah, not much at all. And remember, I'm 5'9", and it's coming up to upper chest level with me. Uh, actually, about about armpit level. All you moms know how important armpit level is for uh, car seat belts, uh, car seats, the safety clip. But anyway, um, so this is it. Looks pretty good. It's holding them really securely, and there you have it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button, and God bless.